In this video, I'm going to be making two different vibration tests. I have my Harbor Freight dual action polisher that I have suspended using ropes. Okay, and on the first uh, uh, test attempt, I'm going to be using the machine unmodified with my uh, three inches Lake Country backing plate. And on the second test, I'm going to be using everything the same but with modified counterweight and uh, different watchers on the uh, Lake Country um, backing plate. So the, the purpose here is try to see how much the machine is going to vibrate from, uh, from one test to the other one. I have set, I have set up the machine at um, speed number three. I am not even going to touch that dial between the first test and the second test. I will also be powering on the machine with this switch so that I don't have to touch it and therefore creating false movement on the machine. I am going to hold the machine at power on just to stop that um, natural movement that the power will create but then again let's focus when I power it off. Well guys, I hope this test was as revealing to you as it was for me. Um, if you notice on the test with the not modified parts, I mean, this was jumping, this little tail here was jumping, this rope, just watch it again and see how much is vibrating. Uh, and then when I power it off, right when the force is just, you know, ending, you can see much more wobble up here, okay? as where uh, when the, the machine is powered with the modified parts you can barely see this tail moving it took quite some time for this rope to start vibrating and it vibrated just a little bit and again the wobble was so minimal I mean it, you know so guys I hope this video serves you um, up something again go watch the video where I am modifying this machine to get these results and uh, if you like the videos, please give us a, a thumbs up and, uh, and subscribe. I'll be seeing you on the next one.